tej informácii o zespute. Sala, sala, OK.
Good afternoon. Welcome to the career week. My name is Emily. My name is Emily Okok from KCA University. And uh, today we have our speaker, Margaret Ngari, who is going to talk more about um, uh, procurement. And um, welcome Margaret and everyone else who is watching. Thank you for logging in. We are going to have a whole week of uh, career activities. We'll be having experts speaking to us telling us more about all the courses that we offer and the careers that can be pursued based on those uh, courses that we have been taking. So we welcome all um, school leavers, everyone who finished their fourth form last year, those who'd like to join uh, KCA for master's degree and even for other courses, for example, uh, CPAs, we welcome all of you and thank you for joining. Uh, so I would like to welcome Margaret. Margaret, you're welcome. Welcome, Margaret. Hi, Emily. Are you uh, here? Yes. Yes. So you you're can welcome. Hear me? All right. Yes, I can. Mm. Okay. Okay. So I'll, I think I'll put my video in terms of the introduction. Then after that, because of uh, the connectivity, I'll reduce it due to the fact of um, to be gotten clearly by the, by the whole team listening. So thank you very much, Judith. Uh, uh, Emily, sorry. I'll start first by introducing myself. Uh, sorry. So I'll start first by introducing myself. My name is Margaret Ngare. I'm a supply chain professional. I've been in the profession for more than 12 years, uh, spanning in different organizations. Uh, that is in the financial sector, the banking sector, manufacturing, and currently I'm, at, I'm in government. So in terms of my qualifications, I'm a CPA, K, uh, whereby I graduated from uh, KCA University. Uh, also, I've done my BCom undergraduate in finance. I've done my professional course in CAPS, which is procurement, um, the professional certification of procurement. I'm a member of KISIM. I've also done my master's from the, uh, in procurement and supply chain management, and I'm currently working on my doctorate in, procurement, in operations management, uh, specializing in supply chain management. So I'd like to welcome everyone for this. Uh, I was given 30 minutes, so I'll be brief uh, and to the point. And if there are questions, you can ask them, then I'll answer them at the end of the presentation. Uh, so kindly allow me to put my video off because of the transmission and in terms of the network so that we don't have any, any uh, breakouts when I'm doing the presentation. So thank you. So in terms of the brief that I was given, I was told that uh, these are new from four levers. Uh, you have no clue in terms of career and you are working towards uh, starting your journey. First, I'd, I'd say congratulations for finishing your um, KCSC. And if you're coming to the career week, then it means you passed well in your exams and this is just the start of your journey. So uh, basically, as I'd, uh, I'd want us to have this discussion in three parts. First is, on you as a person, what you're looking for and what your interests are, then on the courses that you're going to take in terms of academic and also professional course, um, and also at the end of it, uh, what you need to do in your journey. So in terms of the career that you want to choose, you need to look at what are your key areas and what are you passionate about? What are you going, what is, what do you want to achieve in the next five years, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, in the next 15 years? So you need to have a goal map career plan in terms of both personal and also in terms of career so that because they go in tandem. So if I want to become a manager, maybe in the next 10 years after I get into my career, what do I need to do? And I'd be very pleased to give you my journey when I was in KCA. Uh, I enrolled in KCA back in the 
before even we had the library and I was doing uh, accounting. I started my accounting there and I finished my accounting and that was a professional course. So one thing, one key thing that I may be able to say that you're advantageous of, currently now KCA is a university. When we started off, when I was doing my CPAs, KCA was not at a university and it was not providing university courses, but currently they're providing university courses and um, you are able to do BCom, you're able to do accounting, you're able to do uh, procurement and supply chain management. And in addition, you are also able to do under one roof, you are able to do your professional course. So um, what you need to do is based on what you're doing, what will you align with? So if you're doing procurement, I did my accounting and it gives me an upper, uh, an upper advantage in terms of even when you go for interviews, considering that you'll find people have just done the professional, maybe the procurement professional courses, and they don't have an understanding maybe of accounting and all the other things. But for me with the CPA, it gives me an added advantage. So one thing I'd like to tell you is, when you are at the university, use your time wisely. You can do your academic course and also the professional course at the same time. Uh, when I was called to the university, I still continued with my CPAs. Uh, since KCA also offers evening classes, I was doing the daytime class in, in the university and in the evening I'd rush and do my accounting, which yes, it takes a stride in you and um, strenuous, but you know, nothing good comes easy. And I've been able to reap the fruits of my labor later on in my career. So, um, once you, you've identified your career, most of you, I know um, uh, the brief I was given is in procurement and supply chain management. You as a person, what is required? Uh, I know you've seen so many things in the news about procurement people and about the um, ethics. The ethics is questionable and everything. But when you look into detail, it's usually not the procurement people, but usually the users because of the process. So if you are choosing procurement and if you want to grow in your career, you'll need to be very disciplined and you need to have integrity. Uh, what we mean by integrity is doing the right thing at the, uh, at the right time and when no one is watching. It's only you there, but you need to do the right thing. And I can say with, uh, with my growth in the industry, I've actually been able to grow from a buyer. Currently, I'm a chief manager. I'm managing um, strategy and planning. And I've been able to grow at a steady rate because of the integrity and of the good qualities that I've, I've been able to uphold, both in a personal manner and also in career manner. So that um, you know in the, in the industry, it's such a small industry and we know each other. And what will work for you is in terms of your ethics. So if you're even given maybe an internship opportunity, the way you do the internship, showing up to work on time, uh, doing uh, the work that you've been assigned. If you don't understand, you ask about that. That also applies to the discipline that you put in your, in your studies when you are at the university. So in terms of how you need to um, manage, um, how you need to manage in terms of this, you need to have discipline, you need to have time management, and you also need to stand out of the out of the crowd. Don't go with what people are doing just for the sake that they're doing. Always do what is right. When you do what is right, you'll be able to understand that I'm doing this that is right, and you'll be able to reap that. So start working hard from the first year to the fourth year. Don't wait for the rest uh, in third year and fourth year. That's when you are rushing to get good grades. That one will not give you a good um, it will not give you a good clustering in terms of the clusters, uh, first class, second upper, second lower, and pass. So you need to work very hard from the beginning. Then you need to be yourself because you need to remember at the end of the day, when I'm going back home, am I going back with a group that I'm in or am I going back with a degree with by myself? So always keep in mind that I'm doing this by myself. So what am I going to offer to myself? So you need to be your best, um, your best ambassador in terms of uh, discipline, in terms of time management, in terms of attending all classes, in terms of um, 
attending all classes and also in terms of doing the right thing at the right time. And also study, don't be waiting for last minute, have a timetable, have a map, have a goal plan that uh, I need to do this. If it's revision, you need to revise. If it's consulting, KCA has very good lecturers who are always available for consultations and always available to guide you. So in terms of, um, in terms of where you want to go and the challenges that you experience, the lecturers will be there to guide you very well. So in terms of, in terms of uh, you setting your career path, you need to know. If, if I'm going here, what are the prerequisites for this, for this course? So you can always ask, um, I'll leave my email address for those who want to engage me and uh, get the advice um, based on your classes and your, your passion and also what you're strong at. That's how you need to, to engage and get, and, get your, and get your career in line. So in terms of uh, KCA, I can say it's a very good university because it equips you with the relevant skills for the job market. You are also able to, um, to be prepared to be a leader for tomorrow. So in terms of having leadership posts, also go for those. Go for, for when there are um, uh, trainings that are being, are being done and also in terms of um, taking up challenges. Don't fear to take up challenges. Then identify your, your key areas. And also, apart from that, don't just be on the books, be all-rounded. Also, because I know there are several clubs in the university, enter and en enroll into a club, maybe in, the, in high school you are in basketball or football, enroll in the games that are there so that you're able to grow all-roundedly. So that uh, that one will also help you in terms of working as a team when now you get into the job market. So in terms of that, um, I think I've covered what I was meant to cover, what to look at it for in three, in three different aspects. Yourself, what you want to do. I've talked about that in terms of passion and where you want to go. So for that, you need to have objectives and a career map in terms of where I need, I need to reach here. So what are the steps that I need to do to reach here? Number two, uh, in terms of the course you are taking, you take this course, you have uh, KCA University provides both the academic and the professional courses. So look at my academics. I'm doing this as an academic in academics. What are the professional courses that I can pair this with? And um, when in the university, you have a lot of time. Don't waste that time. So get to see what professional course will I pair with so that I'm able to make the best out of this. Out of this. Then on the third one, it's on the journey in terms of you need to be your own person. You need to have discipline. You need to have time management. Don't be getting late to class. Time management is very important, both in both your social aspect and also your um, uh, academic aspect bit. And additionally, in terms of the way you grow in terms of the career, in terms of academics, that will shape you now to who you'll be in future. If you are a latecomer, you'll always be late in terms of even when you get to, to, to work. So ensure you, you have the key discipline aspects to ensure you uh, get a very good um, career, a good, a very good academic results at the end of it. And always remember, at the end of it, you will go alone with your degree. Do not, do not have um, the group psychology. Do not engage in vices like um, uh, vices like um, vices like getting into drugs, uh, getting into the wrong company. Because peer pressure will be there. Peer pressure, that one, I assure you, will be there. You'll have the freedom. Uh, you won't have your parents to be there to tell you don't do this, don't do this, because now you're over 18, but ensure discipline. The first thing you say, it's discipline and time management and integrity. Those are the three key aspects I'd like you to carry them from day one to the last day when you're graduating. So Emily, with that, um, I think I've covered what I was meant to cover, unless there are questions that are arising that I can be able to pick the questions. Uh, thank you, Maggie. Thank you for the good presentation. I believe um, our students out there and the prospective students now understand what um, procurement, 
is and what they need to do to be able to, uh, you know, to understand what is expected of them in that course. Thank you so much, uh, Margaret. Um, so far, I've not seen any questions on online. Um, I don't know whether Ms. Oyo has anything to say, any comments before uh, we move to the next speaker. Welcome, Mr. Oyo. Thank you, Madam Emily. Can you people hear me? Yes, we can. I'm in a dark room. I know majority may not be able to identify, maybe see my face very well, but uh, I'm the one speaking. Glad to see our new members on board. And I would also like maybe to take the opportunity. Mr. Yo, you're cutting off. I guess the network is, um, his network must be failing him. Um, thank you, Margaret. Uh, we don't have any questions at the moment. Most of the students have not been able to actually log in and give their comments, but we are going to share this with them. So maybe just give us a parting shot uh, before we move to the next speaker. Okay. Maggie? Yes. Um, the parting shot. Uh, the parting shot I think I'd like to give is to tell the students, uh, I think Mr. Oyo is back. Do we wait for him or do I just give the parting shot? Yes, Mr. Oyo. Are you able to comment? Can you hear us? Mr. Oyo? I don't think so. You go ahead, uh, Maggie. All right. Um, I think the parting shots that I leave, I leave with the with the students and also with the people who are in the call is integrity should be key. Integrity and discipline through everything you do. It's in the Bible for those who profess um, who are Christians, and I also believe it's in the Quran. It's integrity. With integrity is doing the right thing with when no one is watching. When you have integrity and discipline, trust you me, you'll move from point A to point Z in a very short span of time, and you're your own ambassador. So people, when always ask yourself at the back of my mind, of your mind, if someone says Margaret, what are they speaking about? Are they speaking about positive? in terms of adding new blessings or are they speaking negative based on the interactions that they've had with you? So ensure integrity and discipline is key for survival. So thank you. I think that would be my parting shot. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you, thank you for the parting shot. Integrity, very important, especially if you're taking um, the course in uh, procurement, it's really, yes. really important. Thank yeah. you, Maggie, and uh, we are always glad to have you support our students. So Maggie right. is one of our students, former students. She's an alumni of KCA University, and we are happy that we have uh, alumni who have represented KCA well, and um, we thank you so much for that. So um, next, we are going to welcome one of our students, uh, Mr. Alango, to just give us um, his experience at KCA University. So welcome, Mr. Alango, uh, Brian Alango. Hello, thank you all uh, for coming here today. And thank you for aspiring to join KCA. Uh, well, KCA, it is not just a university to me. 
uh, it is not just a center whereby we come and learn. You know, we come and we crack books and we get those good grades. Then we leave packed uh, to go into the job market and uh, to face those that are there. But I would say that uh, KCA is a multi faceted arena where each and every person with their skills can come and uh, join in this great battle of trying to make the world a better place. So when, when I joined KCA in uh, 2019, as this naive first year who actually didn't know what was supposed to be done, I was glad to get mentors that uh, held my hands, uh, taught me of the do's and the don'ts in life, and actually made sure that uh, today I can be able to speak to all of you. You know, it is not, uh, it actually didn't just happen out of the blues. It has been a journey and it is still a journey. And, uh, I identified a problem, and the problem was that uh, there was need for us to be ready to face the uh, to face the corporate world. So I wrote a proposal, and the proposal was: uh, How can our careers be actually better? And I made inquiries. I went to some offices. And by the grace of God, that idea that I once had led to an emergence of a career center. From a first year who did not know what he wanted to someone who is able to impact lives in a larger scale. And this was possible through the SEP, um, SEP kind of a program. So SEP is the student, uh, SEP actually stands for the, it is a student initiative whereby you as a student, you are going to be provided with life beyond academics. Well, we normally say that we come out of campus and uh, we go to work, but KCA is providing us with an avenue, with a platform whereby you can work and still be a student. And that is what SEP is all about. And who can apply for SEP? Well, anyone can apply for SEP. It is just like a normal job application. You apply to the slots that, that actually fit you well. Uh, you go for those interviews, you face a panel, you are asked some questions, you need to answer them. And um, just like any other job application is, uh, if you fit into the, into the description that they want, then be assured that that job is yours. So SEP consists of almost 100 uh, students of KCF. And uh, we work in various departments. I work in the Center for Career Planning and uh, Placement. Uh, I know of others who work in the, who work in the library some work in some of the like offices around and it is a vast array of actually skills that uh, we that 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 we contribute in to make kca what it is today and uh the major uh the major workforce of kca i can say this is that it consists of the students who are currently on session. Um, uh, for example, I'm a student, and this whole career center thing is actually centered. It was uh, it was actually like organized by the by us, and uh, it has been directed to you because we believe that uh, you who is actually listening to me right now, you are here to join KCA but you have something that you are looking for. And this is not just you be coming here to be a hacker like me, uh, to, to be a teacher like someone else, but you're coming here to make ACA better. And as you are coming, this I promise you, that you're not just going to be a typical kind of a student, 
you're going to be a student who is able to know his or her worth. You're going to be a student who has got actually value in the society that you are in. You are going to be a student that can be counted on in the society. And this is because uh, we as KCA, we are able to give you life that is not just academic based. So how has SEP enabled me to be what I am today? Uh, allow me to say that I was a bit shy person. I was never confident. I was that kind of a person who used to sit at the back. I'm sure that there are many like me. But when, when I was exposed, you could be sent to this office, you could be sent to that office, you could be sent to, to actually do this and that. And uh, I was able to actually manage both and my, and my academics because, well, they come first. And uh, through that exposure, through that networking, I was able to learn a lot from some of the greatest in the, uh, like in the country, our very own lecturers, people that have been here to, to actually work with us and to make sure that we are what we are. And uh, some of the departments as well that, uh, that ensure that we have got the best that we need. We talk about the career center, we talk about the counseling unit, we talk about that enrollment unit. Uh, every bit of KCA, every fiber that forms KCA is actually channeled to you being a better student. And I urge all of us that are actually listening to me now, uh, this is not a hearsay, this is evident. Uh, actually right now, I think that my time is almost spent because I have other office roles to go and attend to. So thank you and may God bless us all. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Huntington Omondi or Honey Moz. I think uh, I know some of you here. I know Oyo James. Oyo, how are you, Buana? It's been long. <laughs> so this is how we are going to run the program every day. We are going to. Uh, I'm going to be here to help us, uh, you know, run the program and maybe make you laugh a little bit. Being serious all the time is not good, even though it is a career week. You, you understand me, my friend, Oyo. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm supposed to end the meeting and uh, thank you so much everyone for being here. And uh, by tomorrow, tomorrow we will make sure that we run the program swiftly and smoothly. Thank you so much and I'm glad to see you, uh, all of you around. Asante Nisana. It's done, yeah.